Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser Money GS. Time to do another video. Now that I've seen Child's Play, I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen this new Child's Play movie, it's time that I rank the Child's Play series. Yes! <laughs> now, uh, if you, uh, like I said before, I'm now ranking the Child's Play series. If you want to see my review of the new Child's Play series, I will leave a link card up right there. <laughs> so you want to check out my non-spoiler review. I won't do a spoiler review for that particular movie because I think most everyone has had their say as far as what they believe in the film and whether they liked it or didn't like it or not. So now it's time to rank all eight films in the franchise. So let's get started with the least one that I like. I'm pretty sure everyone will probably guess this one. Now, starting off with the least one will obviously be Seed of Chucky. God, this movie was terrible. Some people actually like the campness of it, but uh, they like because John Water was in it. He had some goof, he had some goofy reference to us, uh, Britney Spears. Uh, but obviously, that Glenda, Glen, Glen, Glenda doll crap that was terrible. Uh, he had uh, Method Man in this particular one. You had. Jennifer Tilly playing a character of herself in this particular movie, it was it, just not good at all. It was just terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, so my least favorite and coming at number eight will be Seed of Chucky. Coming at number seven will be Cult of Chucky. Yes, the cult one that came out. <laughs> this was, uh, I don't know what they were trying to do with this one. In this particular one, I'm pretty sure, by the way, there will be some spoilers in this one. Not particularly... Everyone's probably seen all these movies by now, but I will have some spoilers in this particular one. In this particular version, Chucky is able to now possess any good guy doll just by saying, uh, beg of the power I beg you, Dumbala. He can recite that and he can possess any good good guy doll, which I thought was a kind of a way break from the original uh, part of when this series uh, broke out. A lot of people said that Mancini had lost it, especially after the Cult of Chucky series. This was a very terrible movie. Uh, I did like his daughter in this particular one. She was only the best one. We actually had Alex Vincent return as uh, Andy. Uh, he's grown in this one. There was a nice ending to the film, but it just didn't make any sense. So coming at number seven will be Cult of Chucky. Coming at number six will be Child's Play 3. Yes, in this one, well, we now have uh, Andy's getting a little bit bigger now, and uh, Chucky's still following him. <laughs> uh, but this time he shares his secrets to a little black kid, and then Chucky uh, made this famous line, Chucky's going to be a bro. <laughs> but uh, it was okay. Nothing real home to write about. It had some good, decent scenes in here. Uh, obviously, we had a little older Alex Vincent in this particular one. I mean, uh, had an older Andy. I'm sorry, older Andy. This one because he's in the military school right now. Uh, this is when the series started to fade a little bit. So coming at number six will be Child's Play three. Coming at number five, it's Bride of Chucky. Yes, this is where the series kind of switched when they took off. The Child's Play theme and just called it Bride of Chucky. Maybe they thought by having Chucky in the film after Child's Play 3 did not generate the type of buzz that they, that they wanted to. So now we have Bride of Chucky. This introduced Jennifer Tilly's uh, character into this film right here, Tiffany. Uh, we see her in the film as well. We get some good kills right here. It was a nice scene that I like where a guy gets smashed by a truck. <laughs> I thought it was very good. I leave Catherine Hel Hellman, I think I got her name. I think she was in this one as well. It was okay. It was sort of a bit of a step up after the kind of late well, fall back from Child's Play 3. But coming at number 5 is Bride of Chucky. Coming at number 4 will be the Child's Play 2019 version of the film. Now, I, like I said before in my view, I did enjoy this film. I like the different aspect of how they played with Chucky in this particular one using an artificial intelligence. Let's put it this way. As I said in my review and anyone else who saw, saw, uh, read my review, saw my review, uh, we've had enough with the possessed dolls uh, uh, cliche and horror pictures right now. I think it was nice to see something nice and refreshing. I know a lot of people, some people loved it. Uh, I know Lee from Drum Dunn's loved it. I know Corey Leach, he loved it. I know Jason from uh, Sinister... Uh, from Sinister Cinema, he did not like it. You know, Dr. Wolfley, he did not like it. But I liked it. You know, I liked it. I enjoyed the film. I was highly entertained. So coming at number four will be Child's Play 2019. 
coming in at number three will be Curse of Chucky. Yes. <laughs> uh, this actually brought back the horror elements of uh, child's, uh, the Child's Play franchise. Uh, after the disaster that was Seed of Chucky, uh, they decided to release this particular version and took away some of the comedy aspects that was in uh, Seed of Chucky, and they actually brought back some decent horror elements of the film. Chucky was a little bit more scary. We had some nice, decent kills. This is the first one that started his daughter in this particular Brad Dorf. His daughter was in the first time she started to it. And I really did enjoy this film. It's a shame that it took a step back with Colt, but that's why I ranked it this high. So coming at number three is Curse of Chucky. Coming in at number two will be the original Child's Play that came out in 1988. Yes. <laughs> it's an interesting movie. It had a nice, decent take. We have this serial killer, Charles Lee Ray. He decides to... Uh, possess, uh, take his soul and possess a good guy doll into it, and the only way he can uh, get back out of the doll is to be, uh, transfer his soul to the first person he revealed his secret to, so that's mean he has to go after Andy Bartlett, uh, Barclay, whatever, I think his name, Barclay, yes, that's a uh, very interesting film, a nice different take from Freddy and Jason, so the original Child's Play is ranked number two, so I'm pretty sure you guys know what my number one ser uh, film in the series is, and that is... Yes, that's right. Child's Play 2. Yes, <laughs> Child's Play 2. This actually even made Chuck even better. I mean, you still had Brad Dorff voicing the voice. I think he got more comfortable with the character. We gave some decent kills. We have a nice uh, friendship between Andy and the teenage girl uh, from the foster home that was in the uh, that was in this particular movie. I thought it was even better than the original Child's Play. So that's why Child's Play 2 is my number one. Uh, film in this series. Well, that's my ranking of the Child's Play series. Do you agree with my ranking? Uh, what do you think? How would you rank this series? Uh, leave your comments down in the comment section below and tell me what you, how would you rank the Ch Child's Play series. Well, that's my video for the day, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please give this a thumbs up because it does help the channel a lot. And once again, this is your first time here. Please hit the subscriber button and ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the horror my Zermani G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the horror my Zermani G. And always remember, horror rules. Ha <laughs> ha. And it's, and it take us home, we're out. We have such sights to show you.